Hello Libra and welcome. This is your general guidance and it is a timeless read. We're changing things up a little bit. I want you to expect a reading from me for yourself about every two weeks. I'm just going to be rolling them over and it's timeless. So I want you to just as you find it, if it resonates for you, it's that reading for you at that time. Does that make sense? Good, good. All right. Let me bring the camera um, by there while we get the cards out. So general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross-watching. My lovely air signs. How are you? Are you well? All right, my beautiful people. Oh, oh, let you know. Oh, oh, oh. Um, if you would like to develop spiritually, I'm starting a new circle. I used to run them for years, decades. Um, I haven't run them for a long time. And I've been told by my team, go and do a circle. People need uh, guidance for connection, um, <clears throat> awakening, um, development. So that is starting on the 2nd of July, one a month. It's not very expensive. The details are below, it's 22 bucks if you want to come along to that, the link is below. All righty, and also if you want to book in with me, the sale is still on if you can get there by the 30th of June. If you can book in by the 30th of June, because then it's going back to full price on the 1st of July. So even if you're not booking till July or August, just to let you know, that sale is still applicable till the end of June. All right, your general read, my beautiful, beautiful Libra, air signs, okay to the sea. This is all about releasing, purging, clearing, rebalancing, rebooting. I like this very much. Okay. There is something here that you have let go of. I don't think you're in the process of it. I think you've done it. I'm getting there. Show me a big green tick in the sky. Happy days. You've done it. All right. Whatever it was, you were letting go of. It wasn't for you. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Do you just love mirrored cameras? It's like, oh, which way am I going? All right, not for you. All right, so something wasn't for you and you've chosen to let it go. That is you stepping into your power. That is you feeling into your intuition saying, I know this is right. It wasn't for me. So you've let something go. Now you're going to cleanse and you're going to clear and you're going to just... Once you let something go, you want to kind of almost get under the shower and kind of go, that's done now. All right. And we have the community card as well. This is your tribe. Who is your community? Is this at work? Is this your family? Is this your friends? Is this your neighborhood? There is a strong sense of community here. Now, I want to find out some more. Let's bring the camera down so you can see them properly. All right. Let me get over here a little bit. Okay. All right, now I want an animal card. Those are the wisdom of the oracle cards, by the way. All right, okay. The chat in a way, I'm listening to my team in my ear. Chat in a way, okay. All right, for my Librans, please. This is the animal oracle. What's the theme for my Librans, please, for this period in time that they find this reading? Okay. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Now, look at this. Isn't this interesting? All right, what's that on there? That is a giraffe and a baby giraffe. Okay, and then here we have another giraffe. Now, all right, so there's a strong energy here about this. Number eight with this card. Eight is infinity and abundance and flow. We want to get into the community. We want to be connecting. 29, which is an 11. We're not going to reduce that. It's a master number, which is all about leadership and being in charge of your own life, your own destiny, and being asked to see the big picture. So what is the big picture? I mean, they're using giraffes here because they're so tall, they can see far and wide. I can see into the distance of where I'm going. I need to look not just at the mic macro, the micro of what is happening right now. I need to look at where is this going to lead? All right. We don't want to live in the future. We need to live in the now. But having a plan about where this is going long term will help me to kind of navigate my way forward. And this is all about looking at where this is going. What's the big picture here? What's really going on? And we come away from the detail and we look at it on a higher level. All right. A higher level. They're just emphasizing that a higher level, a higher perspective. So, for example, if somebody's acting out, playing up, and we look at it 
in detail we'd be like they're just horrible people but if we look at it on the big picture they might be going through some really challenging struggling times and they're just lashing out and you happen to be in the way when we look at that like that we're able to take a step back and detach and be more understanding and compassionate right there's a that's not going to apply they're saying to me that's a particular message not for all of you so if that resonates for you that's for you if it doesn't resonate that's not for you please bear in mind that these are <clears throat> general readings which means that some of it will resonate some of it won't sometimes all of it resonates but not always and it's worth checking out your moon and rising particularly the rising as well as your sun sign for a bigger picture all right let's get something from the tarot then this is the tarot of dreams all right we have got two of pentacles four of wands nine of swords eight of swords this is interesting this is a sort of stuck energy around this big picture community stuff okay um now let me just get the camera straight because that's annoying me I can't help it, I'm a Virgo. <laughs> I've just got to be straight. Okay. Now, mm, all right. Not for you. To the sea, community, giraffe spirit. And we've got the nine and the eight of swords here. I'm stuck. I'm in my head. I've been worrying. Something's wound me up. And it could very likely be connected to your community. But it wasn't for you. I want to clarify more on this. We'll get more cards in a minute, Libra. Right, this let me show you this this card okay this is a chess piece a chess board and we're kind of what does that say on there nope it says nope nope it wasn't for you all right something wasn't for you why because it was pushing your balance out it was pushing everything skew if it wasn't good for you it wasn't helping you move forward it was drowning you so whatever it was <clears throat> excuse me it wasn't for you it wanted to go because the balance was just throwing you off all right so perhaps this was a job where they expect you to do 100 hours a week um and that's kind of going no that's not sustainable it's okay for a little while but it's not sustainable in the long term which is why we need to look at the big picture it's like yeah it's nice money if i'm getting overtime and getting paid extra for these hours but at what cost to my health and well-being? I need to see the big picture of the longer term, the bigger thing. Do you see what I mean? If this was a relationship, a romantic relationship that was just draining for you, draining or, or toxic. Um, hang on, I need to get some water. I'm a bit throaty. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So if this was perhaps, I'm still throaty. Let me just pause you a little minute. Hang on. All right. I think we're okay um, we've got a lot of heat here in the UK at the moment and my allergies are very strong I've been using sinus spray and stuff and it's just kind of clogging me up a little bit I do apologize all right my beautiful people so what was I saying I can't remember now tell me what I was saying please okay right okay if this was thank you if this was a uh, relationship that was a little bit toxic um, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit toxic or a lot toxic poison's poison you know and it'll throw you out uh throw your balance out throw your health out throw your mental health out throw your emotional health out it wasn't for you we need to look at the big picture and perhaps you've been stuck in that for a while thinking i don't know how to get out i can't see a way out that eight of, of swords is i'm stuck um, the nine of swords is that overthinking about well what can I do it's under the community card so you know is there any help out there for me am I completely stuck here I don't know now the to the sea here with the four of wands and I know we're all over the place but that's kind of the way I read I just go with where they're telling me to go to the sea is a card of cleansing and clearing and rebooting and rebalancing and it's over the four of wands which is home and relationships and marriage and stability and those really strong foundations that are there so has this what wasn't for you kind of rocked things at home all right if you're working 100 hours and then your home is not you won't have had time to to, to like look after your home and your yard and garden and things like that perhaps the home needs a good clean to the sea is a cleansing card perhaps the home needs that perhaps you need that um if you have been living with somebody very toxic and this could be an adult child this could be a child child who's 
going through something difficult and lashing out all over the place, then there could be a very strong negative energy in your home. So we want to be able to cleanse that, all right? So how do we do that? If you have a look on my playlist, the How To Spiritual Playlist, there's free videos there on how to cleanse you and your space and your home and just you can use all sorts of different things, but something here has been off for you. I want to find out some more. What's not for you, please? Tell me about this not for you card for my Librans. What's not for you? It's a lot, and you might not be wanting to hear not for you, but this is guidance from spirit to help you. Yeah, there you go, see. There's the devil showing up at the bottom of the deck. We've got the seven of swords, and then we've got the fool. Oh, we'll take that as well. Four and five. All right, let's look at this. Okay, so Librans, I'm kind of putting it all there because this is what's clarifying not for you. If this doesn't resonate, that's okay. All right, you're not going to find every reading resonates for you. The devil represents someone or something that is toxic, disempowering, controlling, bullying, reducing you. This could be an addiction, drinking too much, smoking, drugs, spending. Whatever it is for you, this devil energy is time for it to go. It's got to go. All right. So you may have been saying to yourself for the last however many months or years, I'm going to sort my drinking out. I'm going to sort this out. I'm going to sort that out. And then you never quite got round to it because it was never quite the right time. And we do that with, particularly with addictions, you know, I'll do it after, after the holiday or after Christmas or after this. And then there's never the right time. So <clears throat> this is the time to go. Yeah, this is the time right here, right now. This is the time. It's time for it to go. Whatever this toxic situation addiction person whatever it is that is making you feel trapped and stuck you see with this devil card you know he's holding these two figures here and you're just feeling like i'm completely disempowered it's a card of disempowerment but we are only disempowered when we allow ourselves to believe that it's weird the way it happens you can literally just wake up one day and go do you know what we're done and it's like where did that come from it just came into my head this morning, we're done. We're quitting the drinking, we're quitting the smoking, I'm ending the relationship, I'm quitting the job. Whatever it is for you, it just, this is the time. You've had enough of this imbalance. You've had enough of it throwing everything out. You've had enough of pretending that it's okay. The Seven of Swords, in this case with the Devil, is a card of deceit and deception. Doesn't always, sometimes it talks strategy, but when it's coming in with the Devil, yeah, this is deceit. You know, you may be saying to yourself, well, it doesn't really hurt me that I drink five nights a week. It doesn't really harm me that I'm smoking 20 cigarettes a day. It doesn't really harm me that my partner is very controlling. I can manage it. This is all internal deceit, okay? And it's saying that has got to go. We've got the four and the five of swords. This is not for you. The four is, I'm stepping back from this now. I'm letting it go. I'm stepping away from it. And yes, it's a bit of a battle. It's not easy to overcome an addiction. It's not easy to leave a toxic job or a toxic relationship. It's not easy. It's 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 hard and you know it can create worry and it can be sleepless nights and it can be like with a relationship that's long term you may not have slept on your own for years and then you can't sleep because you're used to somebody else in the bed that will pass it will pass okay so this is going to move on through and you are stepping into the full energy of a brand new beginning. So this is shifting. You're cleansing. You're coming into balance. Yes, there is some sort of struggle around this, the eight and the nine of swords, which is in your head. It's very air energy. And come on, you know, Libra, you can overthink sometimes. So we want to step back and just allow that to move through. Look at the big picture. You're getting yourself out of this situation. You're doing it because you're powerful. You look at the big picture and say, I I will be so much better off from doing this and yeah okay there's some worry here but um it's okay it's okay all right now hang on i want the other deck okay all right let's find out some more libra okay five of cups so there is that change fives are 
change all right five of cups is as it says there she's in tears it's hard it's an emotionally uh, energy we've got the five of swords as well we can't dress this up right i'm not going to pretend to dress this up this is not easy but it's absolutely worth it it's absolutely worth it whatever this was for example if this was leaving a job that's draining you that you know when you keep saying oh i'm all right really and you're like do you know what no i'm not then it is hard i was with a client only yesterday actually who's just resigned a very toxic job and now she's going through the grieving process all right and it's sad and she's upset and i was saying to her you need to allow that to move through you i had my therapist hat on not my reading hat on um and allowing that to move through the grief is a natural part of letting go and it's not just grief because somebody's died the job has died you know the relationship has died the person might still be alive but the situation has died and we need to allow ourselves to grieve and feel it so that we can move on we need to heal we need to release all right to the sea we use the sea because the sea with its salt and its minerals and its power from the ocean is so cleansing it is just so beautifully cleansing you know when you watch this video because i'm going to schedule this i'm going to be in florida i've never been to america before i'm very excited i'm going to be in florida next week and um i'm going to try and get in the sea because it's warmer it's a lot warmer than the uk sea i tell you um because the sea is so recharging all right now see we've got the five of wands blimey oh libra i'm promising you here i don't want you to panic we're seeing all these fives all right all these fives are talking about ah we've got some big change here and it's not very comfortable but it's so needed see the big picture don't go into the detail about oh that's that's too hard, that's too painful. If we look at the overall picture and come into a bigger, wider energy saying, this is going to serve me going forward. I will look back on this time and go, that's the best thing I ever did. It was hard, it was tough, but it grew me. I, I was resilient, I was determined. I made it happen, I did it. But was it easy? No, it wasn't. But it was absolutely worth it, okay? God, you are having them all. You know, it's this is a very challenging reading for you. But I promise you, it's worth it. Look at what we got at the bottom of the deck. There's the star. That's what I want to see. I want to see that healing energy. I want to see that rebalancing. I want to see you coming back into your power and your light after what has been a difficult time. I want you to imagine that that devil energy has shrouded you in restrictions and control and it's destroying your health and your well-being and you're standing up against it and you're standing up to be counted and you're saying no more no more and you're working through that into a new beginning and yes there are challenges all right if you are letting go of an addiction you may go through withdrawal but it's worth it and it'll pass it'll pass okay if you need any help with that there's stuff on my website, unlock your block to stop in drinking and stop in smoking. It can take away all of those withdrawals, okay? Um, or free stuff on YouTube, whatever you feel drawn to. You are working through releasing something that absolutely needs to go. I totally appreciate this reading is not going to be for everybody. Not all Libras are going through this, but there is something here that is really pulling you down that you are rising above. And we have the star here as the outcome. Healing, rebalancing, you lifting up, you knowing what you want. Because the star is a healing energy. But it's also you being the shining star. Your hopes and wishes and dreams. And saying whatever this is, was blocking my dreams. And I'm freeing myself to be able to step into my dreams. And it's worth it. Okay. Three of Cups absolutely worth it we've got the devil on the bottom of this deck as well there is definitely something here that you are letting go of all right you may not know 
how badly it's affecting you with that two of swords. You may not, that's the I don't know card, right? You might think, oh, it's all right, really? And then or you get an aha moment and you go, do you know what? It's not all right. Seven of swords, this has got to go. And you are going to do it. We've got the queen of coins on the bottom and the six of swords. Lovely. You are coming away from this. You are stepping into your power and security and stability the queen of swords very grounded energy very secure all right so any part of you that's feeling ah all right with that nine of swords about i'm i'm, I'm gonna lose everything it's a nightmare no it's not this is the best thing I've ever done. This is releasing me. It's empowering me. And I've got this. I am now moving to better times, easier times. If I was being trapped because of money, because the queen of, of coins is very affluent. She's loaded. She's plenty of money. If you were staying in a job or in a relationship because of financial security, it's destroying you and you need to let it go. So you are moving on. All right. And you're going to trust you're going to trust that whilst you move on, it is going to be okay because we've got the Three of Cups. That's a happy card, a celebration card. This is also, interestingly, a card about community. The Three of Cups is friendships, fun, laughter, nights out, having a giggle, being with your tribe that is going to help you, all right? So your tribe, look at what support you have around you with friends, with family, with colleagues at work. Um, pets, they're just showing me pets that getting a lot of comfort from pets. It's saying you have got this and this was meant to be. I'm going to get an angel card for you. Challenging reading though, my beautiful Libras, but absolutely worth this change it's a, it's a big change and it needs to happen okay all right my lovely people it is a blessing it is a blessing now we you know we use the saying blessing in disguise um you know and it might look on the surface to be yucky but and it certainly is showing a lot of yucky here but it is a blessing because this is a time to purge everything and anything that disempowers reduces and hurts you it's time for it to go it's a blessing you're going to look back on this time and you're going to say that was the best thing I ever did and now I understand having done your reading why they said to me make this timeless don't make this for July even though I'm recording it and releasing it at the end of July end of June don't make this for July make it timeless whenever you find this this is right for you. You may not find this until August, September. You might find this in a year's time. Whenever you find this, um, I'm not even going to post the date of when I recorded this. When you find this, there is something here for you to look at if this resonates for you and say, that's got to go. It's time. And this is my perfect time to let it go. All right, Libra, that is what I have for you. I hope it helps. Thank you so much for being here. Sending you much love. Take care. Bye-bye.